Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy chicken dinner on a sheet pan that you can have ready in 45 minutes. It's perfect for a weeknight dinner, but fancy enough for Sunday dinner. Hi sweet friends! I'm Mary and welcome back to Mary's Nest, where I teach traditional cooking skills for making nutrient-dense foods like bone broths, ferments, sourdough, and more. So if you enjoy learning about these things, be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the little notification bell below. That'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Well, this is going to be a very easy meal to make and it's also going to be very rich in antioxidants and a lot of beta carotene because we've got orange sweet potatoes that we'll make into steak fries, we've got some carrots and we've got some onions and what I like to do is leave the root on so when it roasts in the oven it roasts together like this and it's easy to serve uh, some onions to everyone's plate. Well, this is a beautiful organic pasture chicken. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to spatchcock it. And that means we're going to cut out the backbone and flatten it, which is going to allow it to cook in 45 minutes. So you're going to want to take your chicken, put it breast side down, and then you're going to want to get some nice sharp kitchen shears. And all you're going to do is just cut out the back, cut out the backbone. Then once we cut one side of the backbone, then we're just going to start on the other side. Now don't throw this out. We're going to save this because we're going to use this at another time to make chicken bone broth. And now that we've got the backbone cut out, we're just going to flatten this chicken. You just flatten it, pull up the legs like this. It can help to flatten it. And then put some weight in there. You'll hear the bone crack. Once you've got that flattened out, we're just going to flip it back over. And now we're going to get ready to season it. Now all I'm going to do here is I've got some salt, two teaspoons of sea salt, about a quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, and about an eighth of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. I'm keeping this very simple. You can certainly put any seasoning on here that you want, but I'm going to uh, season the undercarriage, the undercarriage, the, the underneath of the chicken here very well, and then we're going to flip it over. Now we're going to take these wing tips and we're just going to flip them underneath here just so they don't get burned in the oven when they're cooking. Now we're just going to put all the vegetables around the chicken onto the sheet pan. Now we've got all the veggies tucked in around the chicken and we're just going to take a little olive oil and run it over everything. Now I'm going to take my hands and just rub all of the olive oil into the chicken and over the vegetables. And now I'm just going to take the rest of the seasoning and sprinkle it all over the chicken and the rest of the vegetables. Now for added flavor and also nice browning of the chicken skin, well, I'm going to dot everything with a half a stick of butter that I've just cut up into little pieces here. And I'm just going to dot this all around. Now I just want to give you a little tip. You can prepare this the night before, cover it with aluminum foil, put it in your refrigerator, and then when you get home from work or your family's getting ready to come home for the evening, you can just take off the aluminum foil and pop it into the oven and dinner's ready in 45 minutes. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this in a 425 degree Fahrenheit oven for just about 45 minutes. Look at this glorious chicken. 45 minutes and it's cooked to perfection. Now you can use a meat thermometer in the thickest part of the thigh to check that it's 165 degrees Fahrenheit inside of the chicken, which will tell you that it's cooked. Or if you don't have a meat thermometer, you can just wiggle the leg and if the juices run clear and if you give it a little slice and there's no pink meat, you know that it's cooked. Well, let's cut a little piece of this chicken and we've got some of these wonderful uh, sweet potato steak fries. They look gorgeous. And we've got some nice onions and we've got some lovely carrots. I love the carrots when they're baked in the oven with the chicken like this. Now, let's give a little taste. Oh, this looks delicious. I think this is hard to see on camera, but the juices are running clear and it's just so moist. And I hope you can hear this. The skin is delightfully crispy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's delicious so moist, so flavorful, and all you needed was a little uh, butter, olive oil, salt and pepper. This is delicious. And the carrots, the onions, the sweet potatoes, everything's cooked to perfection. Mmm, wonderful. And now this chicken's going to do double duty 
because when you're finished with dinner and any leftovers, save the carcass because we're going to use that in a future video to make chicken bone broth. If you'd like to learn more about traditional cooking, be sure to subscribe to my channel and then click on this video over here where I make a complete roast chicken dinner in a cast iron skillet. And I'll see you over there in my Texas Hill Country kitchen. Love and God bless.